So this is uh, Crawl and his a couple of guys are in their little ships. They've penetrated the Yorktown. And Kirk and McCoy, and they're like timing this intricate thing to make Crawl hit the Enterprise. I'm not sure this is possible. Bones, there's a city plaza coming up. You got to make sure Crawl heads for it. Okay, what? The city plaza? Everything is a city plaza. <laughs> <laughs> the whole space station get is a city us plaza. Up there. So, Kirk is coming in, scooping up. Kirk is scooping up. So, first off, the Enterprise is in, like, I don't know, one of those tubes for ships. Okay. And it, it goes through water and then comes out into the city plaza. Like a whale, which means, yeah. Which means the water itself is somehow contained in an area for the lake or the pond. And the Enterprise can go through it without just getting destroyed. It's, oh, it, I see what you're saying. There's, like, some type of confinement field for the water yeah. that keeps it in this narrow band because yeah. here they are underneath the water yeah. so the water is like above them somehow yeah and then they they go through the water not a problem this is so somehow the the force field or whatever it is confinement thing that's holding the water in place allows ships allows ships to just go right on through also the timing of this is insane yeah because you gotta you're you gotta time these guys skimming across the water yeah. with your ship flying up yeah and you have to cord Kirk had to coordinate with McCoy and say, you need him to be at this particular place, moving at this particular direction at this particular time. And it's on the fly in a place they've never been before. Hmm. Let's get one more How particular did... one more at this particular height. If these ships had been coming up over here, <laughs> a, bit, a bit higher, a bit further away from the water, if they weren't That's right. skimming the water, then you just fly ab above the Franklin. That's right. And in fact, not skimming the water is probably something they would want to do because yeah. that's less dangerous. I don't know if there's alligators. I don't want to go down there. And, you know, 10 meters to the, oh, I don't know. I don't know how big the enterprise is here, but like maybe 50 meters to the Franklin. left or right. Or Franklin, yeah, Franklin. Right. 50 Dodge. meters to the left or right. Yeah. Just, yeah. you know, it's not like crawl is like, I should center up. Like, that's right. so many yeah. particular things that need to go absolutely precisely perfectly for this to work yeah i mean you could sit around and plan it out all day but sometimes you just got to look before you leap ah oh, fuck sometimes well, hard you just got to leap before you look <laughs> and then is that right is that what kirk does yeah leap before you look and then it yeah. works out this works out even if it's like so intricate and on the fly you should just do it and execute get done get it done and it worked get it, right? done. it worked hey it worked it worked. Impressive. Impressive time. Impressive. And oh and and Sulu is flying a ship that has been not functioning for or, or been sitting there for oh, two hundred years. Right. Like how is he used to the flight characteristics of this old ship? Has he ever flown a ship this old? Probably not. Even if even if he had like done simulations of the old ships at like Starfleet Academy why? years yeah, and years yeah. ago, <laughs> which why would you do that? Yeah. It it's old, so it's gonna have yeah. different flight characteristics because hey, he dialed it in. That's right. If ah, he, yeah. He did. I mean, fluid a little bit, get a feel for it. Get a feel. Very adaptive. I mean, that's a good pilot. <laughs> that's a good pilot. That's it. 